Welcome to the first part of the Evergene video tutorial series. Let's start without any further delay. Evergene is an industrial graphics engine. It's based in a components architecture and it's developed in .NET technologies. The engine supports several platforms including Windows, Android, Linux, Mac, iOS, and Web, trying to reach every user. Evergene allows to integrate it at an industrial applications with 3D and 2D elements. Additionally, it allows harnessing the brand new immersive technology's potential to enhance the user experience. Evergene applies on industries such as aerospace, architecture, energy, and health, among others. Doing simulations, new experiences design, holographic creations, virtual training, or entertainment are some ideas that can be developed with Evergene. Evergene owns a vast documentation where it describes every feature usage using quick manuals and samples. You can access them through the links and in the video description. That's the point, to learn how to use the engine features with images and step-by-step -step tutorials. Included in the package there is Evergene Studio. That's the tool in charge to ease the application development. To start, we're going to install the current version from the web using the link we can find in the video description. This is the Evergene webpage, where we can find sections such as documentation or samples. We can see the download section. If we click on it, we move to the installation and software requirements page. We must check the system matches with minimum requirements to launch the engine. If we do not meet any of them, we must install at this moment. We'll click on the download button and run the file. We must read the consent agreement and accept it to continue. In the next screen, we'll see a summary for this version's features, and we can continue the installation until the end. After a few seconds, the last version of Evergene will finish installing in the computer, and now we can open Evergene Studio from the start menu or by double-clicking on the associated project files. So far, we've seen a short introduction to the engine and installation of the current version from the web. In our next videos, we'll show you how to create a project from scratch and how to add functionality to our applications. If you like this video and you want to continue learning about Evergene, don't miss the rest of the videos of the channel. We'll see you soon. Evergene. Elevate your vision.